Greetings! You know me as Petey McDougal, Canadian nerd. You also know me as Petey Falcone, New York dork. Like other misfits of my ilk, I never really felt like I fit in. Hello. Congratulations! This was especially apparent in our old life among the family. Yo, Petey, try this lasagna. It's like angels singing in your mouth. No thanks, I'm lactose intolerant, and pasta's not good for my gluten sensitivity. You know what makes me sensitive? Jagoffs with no manners. Eat the fucking food, you mook. Hey, kid, have some wine. I won't tell you folks. Actually, it was their idea. You need to loosen up. Cheech, I've seen what alcohol does to people, namely you. And it won't work. Have to live a little, kid. <laughs> what are you doing? The bride gave birth to a boy this morning. We're celebrating. Smoke up, kid. It's bad luck if you don't. Really? Hell if I know. <laughs> I was gonna steal that, dumbass! Now that we're in Canada, I finally feel like I fit in. And I'm sure in time, the rest of my family will learn to love it here as much as I do. Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Ah, keep jerking it, Jetsy. Oh, almost there. Mm. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Mm. 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 Relax, Cookie. It's not what you think. I'm sure there's a logical... Slide it in and out. Slowly. Okay. You went to a Catholic school. This kind of thing happens all the time. And... Oh, God, listen to yourself. <laughs> you pricked me. Spit that out. You do not want to swallow it. Jesus Christ on a bike! Ta-da! What do you think? Cheech, we're trying to keep a low profile here, so you go and swipe a boat? Swipe? Give me some credit. I got it at the police auction. Let's start the bidding at 500. Who'll give me five? So! Ah! It was a steal, Jimmy. Except I paid for it. We live on the prairies. What are we gonna sail on, seas of wheat? There's a lake near here. We'll go fishing like the old days. Except without the dead wise guys clogging up the water. Cheech, I'm married. I can't just take off whenever I want. I was married. I took off all the time. And how'd that work out for you? I'm gonna die alone. I gotta clear this kind of stuff with Cookie. I gotta drop reminders, sweet talker, negotiate terms. Peace in the Middle East to take less diplomacy. Hey, Cook, we're going fishing. Great idea! Absolutely! Go fishing! Get out of here! Far away from Petey! Huh? Never mind. Just go. <sighs> oh, no, wait! There is something we need to talk about. Love you, Ben! So, I think your brother might be... gay. And if he is, I want to make sure neither of you gives him a hard time about it. What do you take us for? He's a brother! I know, we bust his balls, but we got his back. Apparently, so does Jetsy. <laughs> Teresa, what did I say? Ma, I'm just playing. Well, stop! I'm having a hard time with this. Get over it. You want to wind up like Mrs. Scavuzzo? She rejected her boy because he was gay. Died alone. Cats ate a face. You want that, Ma? You want a cat eating your face? Because I know a guy. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you can act like a mom! and never buy a cat. You're right. I can do this. I'm gonna be the best damn mother of a gay you ever saw. You know he's not, right? Oh God, of course. He's not cool enough to be gay. If he was, at least he'd have a personality. <laughs> this is fun. What are we bonding now? Shut up! I tell you, Cheech, you can't beat the peace and quiet of a fishing trip. Uh, you want some of this? Who's a big fish now? Say hi to your mother for me. Big leg, fish dick. I got your catch and release right here, 
you broken mutt! You broke my heart, you scaly prick! I'm out. Me too. So relaxing. Now them fishes are sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Young Petey is a homosexual. Splendid. I'm glad you called me, Cookie. Good. Because I don't know how to tell him he has my support. Can you help me out? I can do better than help you, Cookie. I can refer you to a qualified colleague. And no, I'm not deflecting your request because it makes me uncomfortable. Here in Canada, we pride ourselves on our pride. By the by, how's Jimmy taking this? Oh, God. Jimmy doesn't know anything yet. He's gone fishing with Cheech. Fishing? I got no idea what Jimmy will do when he finds out. Did he mention being angry with me? Because I've told him I'm an avid fisherman. But he loves Petey, so who knows? I'm sorry, what? Just checking for texts from Jimmy. No, nothing here. Do you think it would be weird if I just showed up? Showed up where? At the fishing trip. I thought we were talking about Petey. Oh, right. I'll get my colleague to come see you. For Canada! Where friends are supposed to tell friends about fishing trips. <laughs> Don't move! Who? Don't move, I said! What the hell? Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't look at you. You look at me. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Don't look at me. Look at him. Look at me! Look at me! Don't say look at me, just look at me! Look at me! Look at you, being all, look at me! Look at me! Hey, look at me! Oh. Enough! I am Giddy. This is Johnny. We own this boat now, understand? Hey, I own this boat, pal. You want it? Make me an offer. I'll shoot your fat friend and dump him over the side. Hey, Jimmy, quiet. I'm negotiating here. All right, say you shoot fatso. What's in it for me? So, are you sure this isn't going to be too intense for you? Maybe, but it's something I need to do. Well, why don't we just ease into it then? Take it nice and slow. Uh, what's going on with the hand down there? Uh, foreplay? Isn't this what you wanted? No! I need advice about helping my son come out of the closet. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought this was a booty call. McCool kept talking about... I think he said fishing. He's all upset my husband went without him. Oh, it was hard to understand McCool. He was so distraught. Oh, this is embarrassing. Don't worry about it. And a little disappointing. Oh, why? Well... You're gorgeous. Oh, stop. So, about your son... <laughs> gorgeous? How? Just curious. But, uh, what would you do to a gal like me? Give me a, for instance. Whoa, that is something. So, where do these scissors I keep hearing about come into it? <gasps> You guys are not going to believe this, but, but I think Mom might be gay. <laughs> and the hits just keep coming. Petey, this is huge. Who'd have thought Ma was a Lebanese? Can you imagine what it must have been like for her in the old neighborhood? Carrying the desire that dare not speak its name? Yeah, they weren't big on that back home. And they hated people who said stuff like, dare not speak its name. So what are we gonna do? Give her the love and acceptance she deserves. Duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, don't come right out and tell her we know. I mean, she might not be ready for that. Good idea. I'm gonna show her I'm behind her 100%. <laughs> This much fun since I switched your birth control pills with breath mints. <laughs> That's why I've been so minty down there. Why is there nothing on this boat but beer and grappa? Cause Jimmy says cocaine and boating don't mix. This is pointless. We need money. For a jolly pirate crew, 
You guys ain't too jolly. Jolly pirates? We did it to survive a brutal civil war. We fled to Canada for a better life. But now we are being deported. We need money for an immigration lawyer fast. Problem is, your crew's too small. You need a few more hands on deck. Please! Where could I possibly find experienced hijackers in Regina Beach? You thinking what I'm thinking? Honestly, I don't even know if I'm thinking what I'm thinking. You ever hear voices, Jimmy? Ma, there's a secret living in this house. An elephant in the room, if you will. I know, Petey. A big, gay elephant. <laughs> that elephant needs to know they're loved and supported. I couldn't agree more. What about Papa Elephant? We'll tell Papa Elephant when the gay elephant is good and ready. And when the time comes, that elephant is not going to be alone. No, that elephant isn't. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared this up. It's good to get things out in the open. It sure is. I feel sorry for families that don't know how to communicate. <sighs> Ahoy there, Cappy! Avast, you landlubbers! What are you doing? This is not some dress-up game. Ah, come on. Who doesn't want to be a pirate? You boys need our help, and you know it. <sighs> Fine. We're desperate, and you Canadians are very helpful. By the way, real pirates don't dress like that. But I already cut off my hands. What'd you do that for? A pirate's gotta have a hook. Quickly, where is the hat now? We must put it on ice immediately. Here it is. Mm. All right, all hands on deck. Oh, sorry, Cheech. I've come to terms with my choice. Uh, Mom? Yes, Petey? There's this pride rally downtown this afternoon, and... It'd be an honor to be beside my boy. Now that the elephant's out of the closet, let's parade it through the streets. And the little Dutch boy wasn't poking his finger in your dike. What the hell were you doing? I told you, it was nothing. That was not nothing, young man. Spit it out. Ugh, fine. But I think it'd be easier if I showed you. If he comes back in a dress, I'm gonna sh The Elven Spellcaster, a seventh level mage. I don't understand a word you just said. I'm a LARPer. What is that, Swedish for loser? No, it's live action role playing, LARP. We dress up in costumes. Oh, it's, it's like when you dress up as a French maid or put on a leather gimp suit, right? No, that's good wholesome fun. I got no freaking idea what this is. Oh. <sighs> Problem is, you've been picking the wrong targets, Getty. What you want is an RV. Them things are packed with a king's ransom at treasure. What about your uncle's hand? We need to go to a hospital. Ah, that'll be fine. He's had so many beers, he can't feel nothing. Ah, that's better. There's a galleon on the port bow. Or is it stopping? Which one's left? Oh, I used to know this. Get pirate insurance, I said. You never know, I said. But would you listen? I'm going to watch TV. And I don't care if it drains the battery. Ah, prepare to be boarded, you scurvy dogs. Place the mizzen what sits on the wibble wobble. How? Oh, where'd he get those? It's standard now on all American-made RVs. God bless the NRA. Oh. Dave, the pirates are here. 
I still don't get it. Is LARP a sport? Not exactly. Do you win prizes? No, we get experience points. Then we use those to level up and... Shut up! I stopped listening after no. None of this makes sense. Patience. All will be revealed. Roar! A minotaur! Back, foul creature! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Fireball! Fireball! Ow! Watch it! That was really close to my eye! Roar! Backstab! Double damage! And confetti death blow! What? So, Ma, what'd you think? I think I'm gonna confetti death blow my f***ing brains out. That was the most mortifying thing I've ever seen. Why can't you pick up a nice drug habit like a normal kid? What happened to supporting me no matter what? That was when you were gay, not when you were a fairy. I'm an elf. I wish I was a fairy. That's a whole other level. You need to learn sixth level enchantments and... Enough! This is just unnatural. Well, this is who I am. No, it's not. You're chosen to be this way. All you need to do is, I don't know, meet the right girl. Oh, this is all my fault. I should have pushed him into sports. Oh. It gets better, Petey. Trust me, it does not get better. One more school like this and you'll have immigration lawyers coming out your ass! Damn, it's fun being a pirate! It's not meant to be fun. We do it for survival! What about pillaging? That part's fun, right? So are Vikings! <gasps> we should be those next! So what do we do with this scallywag? <gasps> Make him walk the plank! <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh. Father, the power of Christ compels you. Ah, lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! See, Father, what did I tell you? He's all wrapped up in the occult. I'm not possessed. I'm a LARPer. That's not a sin. But it's an abomination, isn't it? Tell him, Father. Oh, heavens, not at all. It's not as though he's gay. Get out of here, you intolerant jagoff! <laughs> I'm still not having this under my roof. Tell your friend to leave! Chetsy's my apprentice, and he's staying! I said scram, Dutchie! <laughs> Chetsy, wait! I don't care what she says, we're a team! <laughs> freeze spell! Freeze spell! Wall of stopping! What is wrong with you? We're not hurting anybody! I can't accept this! A grown boy pretending and make-believing? It's too weird! Too weird? In a family that used to pretend everything was normal while our father was out running a crime syndicate? A family, Italian, mind you, that now lives as Scottish Canadians under an assumed name? Face it, Mom. Our whole life is one big LARP. Double glitter truth bomb. Just stop it, you freak. Hey, that priest dropped his holy water. Ow! It burns! It burns! Jimmy! Stop! The joke's over! <laughs> Take that, you salty dog! <laughs> Ow! Enough! You two are crazy and dangerous! Of course we are! We're pirates, for Christ's sake! No, you're not! You're idiots! Consider yourselves fired! Ha! We just got Jolly Roger. You know, Jimmy, I don't even think them guys was real pirates. <laughs> hey, McCool! Ooh. Casey and Finnegan! What happened to Cheech's hand? Fashion accident? <laughs> but we got it on ice. I knew you shouldn't have gone fishing without me. Hop on, gentlemen, for Canada, where universal health care even covers stupidity. Oh, 
this just feels stupid now. Maybe mom's right. We're just a bunch of losers in bathrobes tossing paper balls at each other. Whoa, who is that? Red hair and purple robes? Where have I seen that color scheme before? Thunder fists, eardrum shatter, dazzle puff, berserker thumb, allergy spell. Feel the wrath of Flindor McDougal. Go ahead, do it, Mom. Did you say Mom? No wonder people think we're losers. Oh. Thunder purse, thunder purse, sanitary napkin, electric shoe. <laughs> I'm not mom. I'm Cookie the Concubine. <laughs> you mean conqueror. I just picked a word, Petey. <laughs> what the heck is a thunder purse? I don't know, but it just saved your life, you little prick. <laughs> Thanks, mom. That was great. I thought about what you said, and you were right. But for God's sake, don't let your father know about this. He's not going to like the idea of his son dressing up in costume. Avastar, it's a sea gremlin. Get him, Jimmy. Come here! <laughs> Dad, stop! That's my friend! You're next, help! Oh, God! Thank you for knowing what I was. Aye, there be the booty I've been craving. Ha 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 bitch! La 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 Though, as a former gangster, I might not have lived a completely moral life, but I did some good things too. Like the time I. Excuse me, Jimmy, you can't park here. No! Oh, get that thing out of my face! What's with you, anyway? I was getting used to seeing you without a billy club in your pants. Now the old attention hogs back? What gives? Allow me to explain. <laughs> Let me tell you something of myself without a doubt. The best cop around who likes to let it all hang out. When my bosses said I had to put on underwear, I tried to take it off, but they said, oh, don't you dare. Wasn't very long before it wound up in the courts. The judge said, no, man, you don't have to wear those shorts. So I won the case because there are no precedents for a servant of the crown to put on his underpants. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Let me get this straight. You sued for the right not to wear a banana hammock? I need to be free, Jimmy. The justice system is broken. I think it's just fine. Heck, McCool, if you didn't want to wear any clothes at all, I'd have no problem with it. <laughs> you know what bugs me? That's not how the song goes. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Pop, why'd you drag me out here? I despise hunting. You gotta toughen up, kid. No more crying over dead mice. That you stomped on in the garage. Is that any reason to make me sit through a three-hour mouse funeral? Oh, that reminds me. You're free now, Mr. Whiskers. <sighs> what the hell was that? Sorry, fella, my kid dropped his gun. Well, be more careful, you wombat licker. Oh, I said sorry. What do you want, a note and some flowers? No, I want you wank stains to bugger off somewhere else. How about I wank stain all over your face? No, how about I bugger you? No, how about I will punch you? That's enough, gentlemen. No need to escalate beyond Australian insults and Scottish machismo. Be on your way, my Commonwealth compatriot. Jimmy, I need a word. Lucky your boyfriend stepped in. No, you're lucky my boyfriend stepped in. Oh, shit, Jimmy, just stop. Jimmy, what did I tell you to do before embarking on this trip? 
Go pee-pee before the long drive? No, the other thing. A cursory search of the Fish and Wildlife database tells me you did not obtain a hunting license. Hold it right there, McCool. What does cursory mean? As of now, this hunting excursion is officially over. Yay! Hear that, woodland creatures? The nightmare is ended. The forest is yours once again. I guess making a man out of Petey is off the frickin' table. Why didn't you go hunting, Cheech? Cause staring down a rifle at one of God's majestic creatures ain't my idea of fun. I like to get in close with a blade. By the way, nice fur, miss. Cookie was gonna throw this out, can you believe it? Maron, that is the most gorgeous broad I ever seen. And I once met Prince. I don't know if she's your type. What? You think I'm prejudiced or something? I'll bang any kind of broad. No, look! She can't see, <laughs> which might help ya. I've dated a blind. They're terrible drivers, and they never compliment your outfit. Only outfit I'm wearing for her are tube socks and a smile. <coughs> oh, I'm choking. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Did someone leave you all alone at the mall? Oh. I think someone wants a tummy rub. Let's scram before his little lipstick pops out. Oh. And there it is. Who the hell asked you to come up here and be my babysitter? All you had to do was go online, fill out an SK-106294 application, wait the seven-day processing period, go to your local Service Saskatchewan kiosk, pay the $30 fee, cash only, and pick up a hunting license. But did you? No! And nothing could be simpler. Uh, McCool? What are you doing? Felling trees here is against the law. Must you do something reckless every time I turn my back? No. Sometimes when you turn your back, I hang signs on it. Oh, very funny, Jimmy. Stop that! It's off, okay? <laughs> hey! They have a wild animal in there! That's not right! Oh, I got a license for it, you tit. A live animal removal permit. See, Jimmy, this is how you follow the rules. You must have some serious connections in government. Boy, what are you doing? Don't worry, gentle friend. You can run free now. I don't know what came over me. I was so terrified. I hope I didn't hurt anything. Oh! What have I done? Oh, thank God. Oh! On the bright side, you're a man now, son. What's this about you ditching the girls to pick up some blind broad? I didn't pick her up. She adopted me. What the hell is that? It's my harness, Cook. I'm a C&I helper. You mean dog? If you want to put a label on it. I know being a dog is a hell of a step up for you, but you gotta tell this woman the truth. And break the bond of trust between us? I'll never get her in a sack. She's blind, but she's not gonna screw a dog. No, but maybe she'll make love to her. Now, excuse me, I gotta go get a flea collar. Those work on crabs, right? That was some good shooting, son. I'm gonna be sick again. I puked after my first mass murder, too. It gets easier. I'm so ashamed. Hunting is nothing more than recreational murder. Petey, God put animals on Earth for us to hunt, eat, and throw peanuts at when we go to the zoo. No, they're thinking, feeling, sentient creatures, just like you and me. Well, me. I agree with the boy. I think it's empty, sir.
Why do people keep running away from me? Maybe because you hitch rides without asking. Or because you're eight feet tall and smell like a biker's armpit. I think that smell is all you. Oh, sorry. I don't know what your game is, you son of a bitch. But you stay away from my girl. Boy, you're a hungry fella. Mm. This is the best thing I ever crammed down my food hole. <laughs> oh, stop. Sorry about trying to shoot you. It's okay. People shoot at us all the time. We think of it as a game. That you can die from. But I forgive you. This guy! He's so forgiven, like a big hairy Jesus. Unlike Jesus, this guy isn't imaginary. Why are you in the prairies? I don't know. One minute, I'm enjoying a nice mushroom snack in the forest. Next thing you know, I wake up in a farmer's field next to a very happy-looking pig. And for some reason, my penis was really sore. Plus, those hunters have been chasing me since BC. You've been around since before Christ? Settle an argument. Jesus was real, wasn't he? And white? Yeah, and from British Columbia. Those hunters want to take me to a place where millionaires can hunt me for sport. I don't know what millionaires are, but they sound like dicks. I know how you feel. I was hunted once, too. Philly ran crying to the feds and wound up here. What's a fed? Jimmy? You're about to meet one. Jimmy, I feel terrible about my tirade, so sweet button Cummings! Hey, a Mountie! Sometimes they chase me in helicopters. Jimmy, a word? How do you manage it, Jimmy? How? Manage what? To consistently put your own well-being in danger. There is a bona fide, mythical creature cramming lasagna into his food hole at your dining room table. So? He's not dangerous. He's a sweetheart. It's people like you who give Bigfeet a bad name. The term Bigfoot is uh, its actually kind of racist. Yeah, you know, just saying. What's next? Is the Loch Ness Monster going to emerge from your toilet for a tea party? Will a flying saucer land in your backyard piloted by Jimmy Hoffa? Hoffa ain't on no flying saucer, I'll tell you that much. That creature is a veritable magnet for the world's press. If word gets out about him, every reporter on the planet will show up outside your door. Ooh, that ain't good. Exactly. So until I figure out what to do, keep that beast in the house. Is that clear? Crystal. GD, you're grounded. No! Oh, right. The Bigfoot. For Canada, where a Sasquatch, Jimmy, really? What's this about me being fucking grounded? Here's some ribeye, big fella. I'm going to take a bath. Hey, get on out of here. You're a bad, bad boy. Don't make me get a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> oh no! D did I get you with the door? Come here, baby. Don't worry, we'll take you to the vet and get you checked out. Mm -hmm. And maybe neutered. Why can't I go outside? Father Sun's awake, Mother Moon's asleep, and Brother Sasquatch needs to drop a coil. It's dangerous out there. Besides, you've seen the great outdoors. Why not experience the great indoors? That's not a thing, silly. You made that up. What are you talking about? You got TV, the internet, video games. Is that all humans do? Sit around looking at screens? No, they also masturbate to those screens. And ordering food. Some folks live rich and fulfilling lives and never leave the house. Like who? Americans, greatest people on Earth, and the heaviest. Here's the remote. I'll get you a bowl of chips. <laughs> Salt and vinegar or ketchup? Damn it! One episode of Breaking Bad and he'd have never left that chair.
legroom in this thing. What are you doing? You're supposed to be at home. I can't sit around all day. The TV is boring, video games are confusing, and the internet keeps trying to sell me boner pills. And between you and me, I'm also kind of terrified of the vacuum cleaner. Look, back where you came from, what would the other Bigfoots do if you let humans know you exist? Oh, their vengeance would be swift and merciless. They'd take away my berries. We're gentle creatures at heart. Okay, I'm in a situation where if people found out about me, they'd let me keep my berries, but they'd probably remove my nuts and then feed them to me. That's confusing. I need you to blend. If people come looking for you, they might find me, and then I'm choking on a mouthful of my own nuts. I don't get it. Oh, you mean balls. Bingo. Let's go home. Okay, I'll drive. <laughs> The same thing kept happening in Grand Theft Auto. It's hard on my knees, my hands are getting calloused. But the real problem is I'm carrying a lot of tension in my shoulders. Oh, and if you let on that I'm not a dog, I'll break your legs. I'm trying to nail this bra. Uh, uh. So can you give me something for my shoulders? How's my boy doing? He's just fine, ma'am. In fact, if it was me, I'd have sex with this animal. Oh, of course, that's just me. There's reports of a hairy man stalking the city and a 600% rise in dog disappearances. I'm doing my best, but the guy don't listen. Remind you of someone? Yeah, he's almost as bad as Cheech. <sighs> I checked the protocols for animal handling and couldn't find anything related to Cryptosimius giganteus. Leave your wang out of this. I'm talking about your furry friend. Leave my wang out of this. Focus, Jimmy! We're simply going to have to drive Sasquatch back to his home. Hopefully my animal trailer requisition goes through. I lied on the form. I circled other where it asks what type of animal. That's not really a lie. But it's not specific, Jimmy. That's tantamount to lying. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? I was gonna apply for a job. What better way to blend in than by becoming a faceless office drone? I did up a resume and everything. Nice font, but that outfit ain't gonna fool anyone. Come on, I'll buy you lunch. But I brought mine. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Maybe we got a shot. Not as dog and owner, but as man and smoking hot chick. I gotta end this before it gets weird. Finished, boy. I'm sorry, pal, but McCool's sending you back to Columbus Britannica. Ah, uh, this isn't fair. I'm just starting to live like a real human person. No outside food. Here, try this. It makes life's disappointments a little easier to take. It also leads to Cookie getting pregnant. Wow, that waitress just got really attractive. <sighs> I love you, Jimmy. You're my best friend. That's the beer talking. I think those two jerks at the bar ought to fight me. What'd you say about my mother? Oh, take it easy. What's that hairy guy pointing at, huh? Screw you, fella! Nobody understands me. Oh, screw it. Toby, get up! The city's going to shit, and you're just lying around? He went on a rampage from one beer? Lucky you didn't order a pitcher, you'd be dead right now. <laughs> it's not funny, Cook! I'm worried about the guy! What if he gets shot by the cops only to escape at the last second, save a little girl from a fire, and die as everyone mourns his essential humanity? What the hell are you talking about? This is what happens with monsters! Don't you watch old movies? I gotta find him before he gets killed! Or grabs a blonde and climbs a building!
Evening, ma'am. My name's Cheech McDoggy. I mean, McDougal. Have we met? I feel like I know your voice. You know my bark, you know my whimper, and now you're about to know my truth. Please don't ask if I found Jesus. I can't even find my shoes. I got a level with you. I've been a real heel when I was healing at your command, but I can't live a lie no more. Plus, my knees are killing me, and the collar chafes. Tummy rubs are good, and the food, huh, forget about it. Anyway, long story short, I've been pretending to be your dog. <laughs> Boy, you kept this up way longer than I thought you would. Pardon me? Of course I know you're not a dog. I'm blind, not stupid. How many dogs have a zipper and pockets with keys in them? Slow down. I'm still figuring out zipper dogs. And you talk in your sleep, Cheech. But thank you. I haven't had this much fun in years. That's great. I'm a fun guy, as well as a dog. I was thinking, maybe you and me could... I guess this is a bad time to admit I've been stealing your panties. I'm calling the police. It's out of our hands, Jimmy. Animal control will take care of that drunk and disorderly hairball. That's what I'm afraid of. He's gonna wind up dead or in a lab. Or dead in a lab, with a pervy scientist prodding his butthole. You don't know what science does, do you? Help me find them. Then I'll drive him back to DC. BC. Fucking metric system. You know what I mean. Come on. If it was me, you'd do the same thing. Sure, you'd lecture me the whole time, but you'd still do it. Damn it, Jimmy, all right. But how can we find a creature who's eluded detection for hundreds of years? Pop, McCool! What is it, boy? The Australians nabbed Sasquatch outside our house. I ran out to help them, but they drove off. I tried to chase them on my bike, but I ran over a cat. Wait, those Australians had a B642-180 animal removal permit. Of course! I have no idea what that means. It allows for air transport of live animals. My obsessive knowledge of protocol and procedure pays off once again. To the airport! What to do? Technically, they're not breaking the law. But aren't they breaking a moral law? Is it my responsibility as a servant of the crown to enforce moral laws? No, but as a human being, you have an ethical imperative. But are ethics not bound by a set of subjective values? There's nothing subjective about the rights of a sentient being. Back me up, Pop. Oh, no! Hey, mother! Once he's dead, we'll feed him to the yitty. Why wait till he's dead? For animal rights everywhere! Ah! Ah! How do I stop? How do I stop? Oh my god, please stop, please stop, please stop! Cheech! Them guys jumped me outside our house. I thought the blind chick sent him. The man they call Ravine. If Cheech is here, then where the devil is Sasquatch? Come on, lady, which one pretended to be your dog? Well, let me see. Oh, right, I can't, you dumb motherfucker. Yo, dog breath, you made bail. Wow, what an adventure. I got drunk, I got kidnapped, and I had sexual relations with a pig. That's an average weekend in Winnipeg. I also learned that humans are terrible and my people should kill and eat them. What? Nothing. Well, McCool, I learned my lesson. It warms my heart to hear you say that. I hope from now on you'll try to meet me halfway. Not that. I mean, I went before we left. This is a long drive. I should have gone before we left. Hey, yo! Why's the floor wet? It's nice he went back with a piece of our culture. The Sasquatch population? is doomed. Oh man! We forgot to get a picture! Oh, God! Saskatchewan, la 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 la
doing? Back in the day, I made a lot of money selling protection. That's when someone pays you not to hurt them. It's like buying insurance, except you don't get nothing in return. Oh, wait. It's exactly like buying insurance. There was this one guy, Don Gambini's wife's cousin. The Don said we were allowed to collect protection off him, but we had to do it nice. I couldn't break his face, so I had to be creative. But I was a wise guy. What the hell did I know about creativism? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme give money! I learned how to play this stupid thing for nothing? I got blisters on my fingers! It's me stomping on your head because you didn't pay protection. You don't see it? I thought it was a duck riding a pony. Or maybe a giant wang. <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing at me like I was some kind of clown. So I figured I'd show him who the clown was. It was me. Ask Ruby and Nice. Let's go with Plan B. Being creative is fine, but sometimes you just gotta kick some ass. Well, one thing ain't changed since Brooklyn. You're still a fucking clown. Gina, don't swear when you insult your father. Forget about it, kid. Fuck you. Don't tell me to fucking forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Good morning, big boss man. What are you doing, Cook? Just wanted to say I love you and that you're the best husband in the world. That's real nice, but this ain't exactly a good time. Cook, if you want something, you don't gotta butter me up. How much do you need? Forty. You French me while I was dropping a deuce to get 40 lousy bucks? No, 40 votes. I'm running for VP of the PTA on a healthy snacks platform. I need you to help me win. By being nice or with a bat? Can you be nice with a bat? I don't want to make a bad impression. McCall, why is Petey in handcuffs? Your son was protesting at the site of the new oil pipeline. Oh, Petey broke his cherry. Good for you, kid. Even if it was a candy-ass crime. I didn't arrest him, I simply gave him a ride home. If there's one thing Mother Canada respects, it's an orderly protest. Granted, we don't listen to them, but we damn well respect them. I asked McCool to cuff me so the other protesters would think I was cool. What do you got against oil? How else are we supposed to lubricate engines or maintain fine hairstyles? To answer, I will recite one of my incendiary poems on the matter. <gasps> oh God, he's reading another one. For Canada, fill in the blank. But soft, what shame on yonder pipeline breaks? Tis the government trading blood for oil. How <laughs> hot! See, Petey, that's how you get things done. Reading poems, singing songs, and waving signs of a pussies. You want to get ahead, you got to have balls. And you got to show them. Like you are right now, big guy? Oh, sorry. Hello, friend. Can Cookie McDougal count on your vote for the PTA? Sorry, I'm voting for my husband. Is that so? Cheech, show her the incentive package. Next time, your husband will be in there. My husband was in there. Vote Cookie. Do I have your word you're gonna vote for Cookie? Uh, no. Are those cookies? What else am I gonna wear on laundry day? Not so fast. You voting cookie for the PTA? Right this way, madam. That's better. Come on, Jimmy, let the kids out. 
They can't even vote. No, but their parents can. Good point. We shut the pipeline down for 15 whole minutes! <gasps> Don't engage the police! We may have taken ballsy hardcore action, but we must remain peaceful. Great. Run for your lives! They're gonna murder us! <laughs> Don't shoot, but if you have to, tell the world I wet myself after you fired. Don't be silly. We don't shoot suspects in Canada unless they're mentally ill or don't speak English. Those were mere warning shots for interfering with the pipeline. Pop said I needed to show more balls. Well, thanks to your balls, I'm going to have to report you. That means I'll have a record. Ladies love a badass. After nine recounts, it's my horror, uh, honor, to welcome the new PTA vice president, Twinkie McDougal. That's Cookie McDougal, but thank you, Mr. President. Yeah! <clears throat> My first order of business is to get rid of school vending machines for the sake of our kids' health. You suck! Um, no, you can't get rid of those machines. They're a source of revenue for after-school sports programs. Which kids wouldn't need if they stayed off junk food. On that note, as president of the PTA, I'm going to put you in charge of the vending machines. So, Cookie's in charge of the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Snack Nancy! Psst! I heard on a grapevine how your wife got elected. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm not here to dangle your chubblies over a fire. I want your help passing Bill 158 through the provincial legislature. Politics? Do I look like a criminal to you? Actually, don't answer that. Too bad. I could pay you from the public trough. And it's a big trough, Jimmy. How big we talking? And what, if I may ask, is a trough? Caramel-coated jelly butts? Chocolate-covered cheese puffs? Cheese-coated licorice nipples? Why do these say, for sale only in schools and mental hospitals? Cause President Annabelle doesn't care about good nutrition. You know, this garbage is why there's a child obscenity problem. Oh, I'm fucking starving. Ma, you got any? Ooh, jackpots. Absolutely not. No kid of mine is eating this junk. Delicious junk. I could live on this stuff. Young lady, if that's all you ate, you'd be so unhealthy that Annabelle would have to ban these machines forever. Challenge accepted. Gina, that's so bad for you. So are STDs, but that don't stop you from gobbling any old... Eat your fudge holes! I am proud to announce with the support of my enormous caucus... Ha! Caucus! <laughs> ...that Bill 158 has passed! How do you like that? We did our part to change the world. The real satisfaction is that we were paid a buttload of money. Jimmy, I need to see Petey right away. What did he do? Hug a tree to death. Worse, the recently passed Bill 158 makes any environmental protest an act of terrorism. Bill 158? Which I uh, had nothing to do with. Of course, if you did, you'd be a terrible father because this new law means Petey is a terrorist. I'm here to place him under arrest. Uh, Jimbo, maybe some time in the big house is just what the kid needs? Sure, sure. Wait here, McCool. We'll go get him for you. Take your time. Let Petey cry it out before I bring him in. If the other convicts catch him weeping, they'll pass him around like a pumpernickel bowl of spinach dip. You know they took off, right? No, no. They're upstairs right now, preparing Petey to face justice. Uh-huh. Oh, why am I so naive? How long are we supposed to stay here? I'm claustrophobic. I need my mouth guard and my neti pot to clear my sinuses. Kid, it's been two hours. Relax. I don't know how you could stand going on the lam in the old life. It was tough. Hiding at the Plaza Hotel under an assumed name, doing blow all day, surrounded by hookers. God, I miss it. I got supplies. You know, if you hadn't made fun of my lack of balls, I probably wouldn't be a wanted fugitive right now. 
You don't know the half of it, kid. We're the ones who rammed through the bill that made you a terrorist. Ah, oh, Jesus, Cheech! That was you? In my defense, I got paid a lot of money. Way to man up and fight for what's right, Pop. You're nothing but a two-bit bag man who sold out his own son! At least he's not a Taliban. Neither am I. And I'm gonna fight this like a man! Whee! The kid's a monster! I don't know, Ma. This junk food diet you got Gina on feels like a bad idea. It's just temporary. I'm trying to prove a point for the greater good. Did you feel that? Felt like an impact tremor. <gasps> now I get why Pop and his guys were so big. Someone messes with you, you give him a little belly buck. Boom! That down for the count. But you're turning into a whale. Ah, zip it, Skeletor. You're nothing but a chubby, hating fattest. Ma, this is child abuse, and I'm not gonna stand for it. Ooh, ooh. There, now you're not standing. Ooh. All right, we're conducting a hard target search of every roadhouse, outhouse, chicken house, and steakhouse in a three kilometer radius. Actually, our targets are tree hugging enviro terrorists, so skip the steakhouse. Meanwhile, I have a plan so crazy it just might work. What took you so long? The vain hope you'd have a change of heart and bring Petey back. Ain't happening, McCool. We're on the land. You can look for us, but it'll be like chasing the wind. Keep looking for him. Petey and I are shadows in the night. You might get close, but we'll slip through your fingers like smoke. He just showed up. Damn it! I'm surrendering peacefully, McCool. Good for you, Petey, but Bill 158 is very specific. I'm sorry to have to do this. Do what? <laughs> Die, you terrorist pig! That's laying it on a bit thick, but protocol is protocol. What happened to you, McCool? You used to be a servant of the people. Now you're just a stooge for big oil. If that's going to be your attitude, you leave me no choice. Me, 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 B, 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 a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Me, me, good. Here, you must be thirsty. Thanks. Ah! Well, I'm thirsty for justice, you little punk. Whoa, 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 take it easy. Can't you see the kid's scared? Oh, he'll be scared, all right, when all he has is a toothbrush to fend off his kill crazy cellmate, Cannibal Dave. What's happening? Better play ball, kid. I can't control him when he's like this. Just give me a lead pipe and five minutes alone with this little twerp. Are you playing good cop and bad cop? Budget cuts, Petey. Work with me. What the hell's going on in here? I was just about to tell Petey his only way out of jail is to reveal the identity of his fellow terrorists. Hear that, kid? Tell these guys who your hippie friends are right now. No! Unlike some people in this room, I'm not a rat. You son of a bitch. No, McCruel, don't! I'm not gonna let some snot-nosed panty waste call me a goddamn rat! He means me, McCool! Calm down! Here, have some water. No one tells me to calm down! I specifically said I want the protection money and coins. Now you gotta pay twice! <laughs> Between these sugar crashes and my sleep apnea, I'm dying over here! Hey, you! Come here! Get back! Get back here, you little sh bird! Poor, needlessly obese child. You need responsible adult intervention. <sighs> Thank God. Out of my way, mooks! Freak a machine took my... <laughs> Um, hi. I'm a vegetarian, and I have food sensitivities. Can you run me through any non-GMO menu options? When I eat you alive, will that make me a vegetarian? I'm asking for a friend who I recently ate. You mean whom I recently ate? <laughs> ah, I'm gonna run screaming now. It's dinner time. 
No, no, I'm still hearing beat you, but I think you mean eat you. Didn't your mother tell you it's rude to talk with your mouth full? Don't you talk about my mother! Hey, hey, spit it out! Come on, spit it out! The skinny kid's whooping Cannibal Dave! Finally! Someone's standing up to that psycho. I think we got ourselves a new psycho. I gotcha! Now spit it out! <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm crazy. Anyone else want a slice of PD pie? Can you please pass the salt? Bitches. Since we helped you, I thought you might spring my kid from the old felony resort. Sorry, lads. I don't negotiate with the parents and uncles of terrorists. What about aunts? Say the word. I throw on a dress, you and I hop on a plane to Boca. My boy might be a know-it-all, a pain in the ass, and a god-awful poet, but he ain't a terrorist. The law says he is. <laughs> me hands are tied. <laughs> a lady friend did this last night, but you see me point. That pipeline's a cash cow, and I intend to suckle her teat till me belly's full and me lips blister. <laughs> I see what's going on here. You need a little incentive to change your mind. And you break a ten. Get out of me office! Pleasure doing business with you. You didn't do any business! I got a whole ten spot says otherwise. <laughs> Don't you think you've gone too far, Ma? There's Japanese whalers circling the house. <laughs> Relax, Teresa. A few more pounds and she'll be unhealthy enough for me to call a PTA meeting. You know, I'm getting sick of people talking about me like I'm not even here. It ain't like I'm hard to miss. As soon as I get rid of those vending machines, I'll give you some carrots and you'll go back to normal. Listen to yourself. What do you mean, normal? You saying I'm not normal? Just cause... Hang on! <sighs> Because I gained a few pounds? I'm still me, you know! Jeez, get off your soapbox, kid. Before it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Laugh it up at the fat kid, you jerks! I can still kick your asses. As long as I lean on something for a while while I'm doing it. Oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, bring me some freaking cupcakes. <laughs> Okay, kid, time to tell on your little jihadi friends and come home. No way! I'm not a snitch. Wait a sec. How the hell are you still alive? I followed the old adage and kicked someone's ass on my first day. Good for you, kid. Whose ass? This one? <laughs> no, actually, Cannibal Dave here got on the wrong side of old Psycho Pete. Look at you with a prison nickname. Oh, you put me on? You beat up this guy? Whoa, shame on you, pal. Cheech, drop it. It don't add up. No way a weed like you could take on this palooka. Am I wrong? Can we drop it? You see, that makes sense to me. Petey, just name names before Cannibal Dave comes back for another helping. I will not rat out my friends. I have to take a stand. Visiting hours are over. I was wrong about you, kid. You got bigger balls than I thought. Oh. Need a painkiller? No, you're sitting on my colostomy bag. <laughs> now they'll see what vending machines do to kids. <sighs> Better hurry, Ma. Annabelle's about to steal your thunder. Irresponsible parents who don't care what their children eat are why I want to remove all vending machines from our schools. Don't you dare, Westminster. I'm the VP of the PTA, and I fed my kid nothing but vending machine junk food to prove... <gasps> you did this on purpose? What kind of a mother are you? Gina's fine. She's been on a blissful sugar high for days. Lower me down! Forget vending machines. The real story here is how crappy you people treat overweight kids. 
I think the real story is the childhood obesity epidemic. That go eat a sandwich, phony M. Oh. Maybe if you media jag off, stop celebrating people for looking like skeletons, portly kids like me would. Oh, crap. Run for your lives! Chugzilla will kill us all! All right. We're gonna get ourselves busted as terrorists, because Petey needs help on the inside. He better give me the top bunk or I'll cut him. While we're at it, we'll hit O'Shea where it hurts, right in the pipe. Boost me up. Once we're terrorists, do we gotta pay dues? Either that is really shoddy workmanship, or we are the A-team of Wrecking Crews. I love it when a plan comes together. Jeez, no! The pipeline appears to have been built with substandard materials as part of a kickback scheme masterminded by Premier O'Shea. Shame on the voters for electing me! The judge agreed and fined everyone in the province $600. The men who uncovered the plot had this to say. Their faces have been distorted for reasons that are none of your business. We were, uh, just innocently walking by when the pipeline broke. And we didn't have to use a bomb or nothing. Oh, sorry. I meant, or anything. Bill 158 has been repealed. Activists throughout the province are singing Yub Yub and dancing like happy Ewoks. You did it, Pop! You did it! Thank God I'm getting out of here. Unfortunately, along with the pipeline being destroyed, so too were the surrounding wetlands. Damn it! How does it feel to be a free man, kid? We miss the quiet time in jail, don't we, Wilson? Nice to see you looking again, Gina. I miss my scooter. You were hell on wheels, sweetie. Another one died. Sorry, Petey. Oil-covered avian, who hears your call? I do. Kaka! Cheats, no! La 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 la